Shalona's coming and so am I. Let's look at her kit builds and teams. So what does she do and how do we play her? It wouldn't be Genshin Impact if we didn't complicate things with overly long descriptions, so let's make it simple. She heals the on-field character on tick with a burst. She shreds the opponent's resistance to everything other than Dendro and Animo with a skill. The elements that she shreds depend on which elements are in the team. The way it works is you press a skill and she gets three, let's call them thingy majiggies. And the all start is Geo. For each Pyro, Hydro, Electro or Cryo character in the team, she'll convert one of the Geo thingy majiggies into the corresponding element. So in a team of Shalone and Raiden, Yulan and Shangling for example, she'll convert them to Electro, Hydro and Pyro. After using a skill, do two normal attacks to apply the shred which follows you round. There is a reason for doing two normal attacks instead of just one, but it's long, complicated and related to the Night Soul mechanic so I won't bore you. All you need to know is you just do skill, then two normal. That is literally it. You do need for there to be at least two characters in the team that are Hydro, Pyro, Electro or Cryo, otherwise she won't shred resistances and she won't heal with a burst. So if you have Ito, Shalone and Goro and Farina, you're not getting the healing or the shred. Swap out Goro for Fischl and you will because you have two characters of those elements. And they can be the same element. For example, Yulan instead of Fischl. If you want the Geo Shred because you have a Geo DPS, just make sure you only have two characters in the team that are Pyro, Hydro, Cryo or Electro. And then the last thing in Majiggy will stay Geo. To summarise, use a skill and then two normals and it'll shred the opponent's resistance to whichever elements a thing Majiggy's were. Use a burst to heal the on-field character on tick. Use it before a skill if Shalona needs healing. Use it after for a longer duration of healing for the characters you switch into. For pros and cons, her biggest positive is her flexibility. No, I don't mean in the bedroom, even though she wouldn't look at you even if she were real. You play Genshin. She slots into almost any team that has two characters of the elements we mentioned. One of the main reasons for this is that she shreds opponents' resistances rather than buffing your characters. Even though she does do that with her artifacts, which we'll talk about in a minute. With a character like Bennett for example, buffing attack, Farina, Nuvalet, Yulan and Muolani don't benefit from him. Shalonen benefits units that scale off different stats. As I just hinted at, she's the first holder of the Cinder City set that can give the whole 40% elemental damage buff while also providing value from her actual kit. Sorry to all Kajina fans, I like her and even got lucky and pulled a C6. But there's very little difference between C0 and C6 Kachina, and at C0 she doesn't do much. She was a nice free character to explore the first Natlan patch with, but Shalonen banishes her to the Night Kingdom for a second time. Another of Shalona's benefits is a big healing. So often we dedicate one slot in the team to a buffer and another to a sustain unit. She acts as both which means if we want to we can dedicate the last slot to another off-field damage dealer for reactions and more damage. Alternatively we can go full hyper carry with another buffer like Kazuha. It shouldn't be overlooked how easy it is to build her. You can give her Favonius sword and throw away artifacts and call it a day. She doesn't need difficult main stats and substats like geo damage or crit, she just needs defense and energy recharge. Her traversal mechanics are worth mentioning too. Obviously she'll be better in Natlan, but even outside of Natlan, it's likely you'll use her in your party for ease of use. It's nice to have someone useful for climbing so you don't have to switch in Kachina or Karara all the time. Finally, her shred follows you. No circle impact is a big win. For her downsides, there aren't many, but you could argue she doesn't raise the ceiling for many teams. New Valletta Navia maybe, but outside of them, she seems more like a side grade to a lot of characters' current best teams. Personally, I think that's fine, and I like units that open up the potential for flexible team building. Others might complain she doesn't make any of their teams better though. One thing I don't like is the restriction on the elemental thingy majiggies. I don't like that Dendro and Animo don't benefit. It's not like we have a lot of Animo DPSs, and they're not exactly the best units in the game, so what does it matter if they benefit from the buffs too. I also don't like that we need to run at least two units of pyro, hydro, electro or cryo elements because it limits our team building options. As mentioned earlier, I'd like an Ito Mono Geo team with Farina as a flex. Shalonen would have been perfect if not for the restriction. In terms of weapons, Shalonen's signature will obviously be best. It gives her a bunch of defense and her teammates a bunch of elemental damage. Not a bad weapon to pull even for other supports that don't scale off defense to be honest. For characters like Nalu, Layla or Karara, people often throw Favonius Sword on them just so they can have some support capabilities. This weapon's elemental damage buff in most cases will be more useful than the extra energy particles. If you don't go for a signature, Favonius Sword's a solid option as always because the particles still support the team a little. Freedom Swan's an option too. 
The elemental mastery doesn't do much for her, but the weapon passive buffs teammates' normal plunge and charge attacks by 16% as well as their attack by 20. For 4 star defense stat sticks, the Natlan Craftable and Cinnabar Spindle <laughs> exist. I just recommend Fav though. Her artifacts are easy. The new Natlan support set, Cinder City, gives 40% elemental damage to the team for Geo and the elements she creates a reaction with. Run this on her if you're using her as a support, which you almost always will be. For meme teams where you use her as a DPS, use the new Natlan DPS set, Obsidian Codex. It gives 15% extra damage and 40% crit rate. Now for my favourite part of the video, let's start cooking some delicious teams. One character that did not need a buff was Nouvellet, but we gave him one anyway. A lot of people like him with Farina, Kazuha and Zhongli, but Zhongli only shreds the opponent's resistances by 20% while Shalonen shreds by 36%. She can also hold 4-piece Cinder City to buff Nouvellet and Farina's Hydro damage by 40%, while if Zhongli held it, he can only buff it by 12%. You do lose Zhongli's shield though, which means Nouvellet is more likely to be interrupted, so you should bear that in mind if you're a skill issue. She raises the bar for Navia too. A lot of people like Navia, Shangling, Bennett and Zhongli, but just like the last team, swapping out Zhongli gives you more resistance shred as well as the 40% buff from the Cinder City 4 piece. You could also swap Shangling and Bennett out for any strong pair of Pyro, Hydro, Electro or Cryo characters. Farina and Yelan will work? So will two official Beidou Yai Osara. Kazuha and Shalonen with their buffs and debuffs are like two cheeks of the same ass. Running them together makes for some strong hyper carry teams. Arlequino, Kazuha, Bennett and Shalonen works. Arlequino out for Raiden would be solid, although you could swap out Kazuha for Sarah if you wanted to. You could even try a Child for Rina team, which is a completely different role to what we used to with Child. It might be frustrating to play at C0 because of his skill cooldown, but if you have his C1, it'll be fun to play with. Shalonen works as a replacement for Kazuha too. Let's say you have a mono pyro team of Alakino, Kazuha, Shangling and Bennett, you can swap Kazuha out easily. In a mono hydro team of Yelan, Farina, Kazuha and Kokomi, you could swap Kazuha out for Shalonen, and because she heals the team you could also swap out Kokomi for Sing Cho. For those of you that want to play Chevrou's overloaded teams like Raiden, Chevrou's Fischl and Shangling but don't have Chevrou's because you got raw dogged by the gacha, I know how it is, you can use Shalonen instead of Chevrou's and it'll be just as strong and even comfier. I saw a lot of people struggling with building teams for Muolani last patch too. Shalonen opens up more options for Muolani with you maybe opting for Muolani, Shangling, Nahida and Shalonen. For those that like Farina and Muolani together you could drop Nahida. If you don't like running your Shangling on a million energy recharge you could drop her for Kazuha. The Hydro Resonance gives Muolani and Farina some extra HP. And the Kazuha Shalonen pair gives them buffs and shreds out the ass. To any Yoimiya fans out there, you could even run Yoimiya with Shalonen, then Yelan for some Hydro and Zhongli for even more shred. I'm sure Jello Impact won't mind that one. Was it Jello Impact that likes Yoimiya? I know Braxifone did, but I don't think he plays anymore. Why do people even like Yoimiya? Each to their own, I guess. We talked a little about Ito earlier and how Shalonen doesn't work well with him, but if you really wanted to make it work, you could run Ito, Farina, Yelan and Shalonen. In my opinion though, it's a worse version of the Navia variant. You just put in lipstick on a pig. I don't advise running Shalonen as a DPS to be honest, but if you did want to, I think a best team would be a Sianyun plunge team with Farina and Goro. Just remember to give her that 4 piece obsidian codex. If you want to make use of the free Candice we're getting in 5.1, you could swap Goro out for Candice with her being the plunge character. Then you just put Shalonen back on the Cinder City 4 piece. Overall, Shalonen is arguably the best release since Farina. She's flexible, easy to build, and while she doesn't push the ceiling for many teams higher, she can match that ceiling for a lot of the teams I talked about. I'm going to be dropping more Shalonen content soon, as well as an up to date guide covering everything on Candice so we can make the most of our free copy of her. Subscribe to the channel if you're interested in them and take it easy.